Remember this? This is the machine I use for capture. This contraption on the front, this is called Embedded Display Port. This is actually an iPad screen. This thing is really cool because I can carry it with the handle. It's a Sliger case, it's pretty nice. And plug it in and do capture, capture BIOS, whatever it is that I need to do. It's a pretty powerful machine to be able to capture pretty decent quality video. So I've got an adapter on this that converts it from Embedded Display Port to regular DisplayPort. And there can be a lot of different embedded DisplayPort connectors. I was talking to ASRock about this, and they have something pretty exciting. ASRock sent me this embedded DisplayPort screen to use in my experiments. This is like a laptop screen, what you would normally find with a laptop. And it has the built-in embedded DisplayPort connector, which means that this is basically a full display ready to go. It's super thin. Where ASRock sees this as maybe being useful is for case monitors. So I have the, their most inexpensive motherboard that has a built-in embedded DisplayPort connector. It is the H610M ITX EDP. And I've also got an i3 CPU. We're gonna do a, a test build with this. But ASRock actually, when they launched their Z790 motherboards, almost all the Z790 motherboards have a built-in embedded DisplayPort connector. So you can do some pretty fun case mods. So I've got this. The Lian Li Dynamic 011 and I asked Amber to design some 3D printable brackets for holding this screen. Yeah, that's right. This screen fits almost perfectly in the front panel of our Lian Li Dynamic 011. Let's get building. Cute little Alder Lake i3 12100 with its 4P cores. Our motherboard's basically good to go. Now the EDP connector is on the back of the motherboard. So we want to very, very gently install our connector there. So the connector will come off the bottom edge of the motherboard like so. And then hopefully it'll connect somewhere up here for our EDP panel. Now the connector on the screen is a little more interesting. It has a mechanical flap. So you sort of flip that up, slide the connector in, and then gently, because remember you're pressing down on an LCD screen, uh, press down on the flap and it should sort of very subtly click into place. Now I'm actually gonna use this ITX board in an upgrade for my video capture machine. I recommend that you take a look at some of those Z790 motherboards that have the built-in embedded DisplayPort connector from ASRock. You can do like I did and, you know, adapt what you have um, so that it works with a regular DisplayPort connector or even USB-C, you can order that on the internet. But I like this better. There's also a protective film on the LCD. That's what the yellow tab is. Pull that off last, because you're gonna get fingerprints on it otherwise. Now I'm sure that you can think of something really cool to do with this with a much higher end system. Me, I'm gonna use this as an upgrade for my video capture machine. But if you decide to get one of these motherboards and build them, I think the live streamer series, that's probably gonna be super popular because it's, you know, you're a streamer and you wanna show stuff off and you've replaced the side panel of one of your computers with an LCD screen. Okay, makes sense. I'm one of this level one. This has been another look at embedded DisplayPort and all the creative uses you can have for it, whether it's a monitor on an arm built into a computer with a handle or replacing a side panel for your computer. I don't know, I just thought this was a quick, easy, fun project. And I'm sort of delighted to see ASRock trying something different. I mean, motherboards are all kind of samey, right? This is pretty cool. And if this takes off, USB-C to embedded DisplayPort adapters, those will be pretty common so that you can connect this kind of thing. I like it. It's pretty awesome. Most video cards will support up to four attached displays, but since pretty much any uh, CPU now also has the display option, you may need to enable the iGPU multi-display option in BIOS so that it'll use the onboard GPU as well as your add-in discrete GPU, but it couldn't be easier and simpler, and it doesn't really have an extra load or, or anything like that for the system, and having a display literally built into your computer for stats or anything like that is pretty cool. So I know some of you already have like the little embedded seven inch displays and there's a lot of cool software for those, but share what you use below. Maybe I'll create a forum on the level one thread for cool stuff people have done with displays that are built into their computer. If you remember, I used the same case to turn the front into a touch screen for a Linux machine to do SSH authorizations with the Raspberry Pi touch screen. So this isn't the first time I've done something like this. But comparatively, this is plug and play. You just plug it in and you're done. You don't have to do anything crazy like I did. I'm Wendell, this is Level 1. I'm signing out. You can find me in the Level 1 forums.